Look at our chocolate strawberry croissant French toast. And today we are making oh, something so special. We are making chocolate strawberry French toast. So our base is gonna be, um, I like to put a little bit of sugar in my base. A lot of people don't. I use cane sugar. So my base is eggs, milk. I like to put some carnation milk in it as well and some heavy cream. So that's my base, how I do it. I'm gonna add some cocoa powder to that. So we have the chocolate for that. And in the end, you know, once everything is done, our French toast is complete, we'll dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar or some people call it confectioner's sugar. So we'll do that and we'll also garnish it with some dark chocolate nibs. And I have a sugar-free, um, again, um, it's keto-friendly a sugar-free strawberry syrup, which we're gonna put with our strawberries um, to kind of give it just, even though it's sugar-free, it, it has a natural sugar in it, um, kind of made with erythritol, like I was telling you here, when I mentioned earlier. So we're gonna have that on our strawberries when we make our chocolate French toast. Okay, I've cracked three eggs. I'm just gonna whisk it. And then I'm gonna add my milk. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of milk. A quarter cup of evaporated milk. Some people call it carnation milk. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of heavy cream. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. And I'm going to add my cocoa powder. First, let me whisk this. I am actually going to add my sugar first. Then now I'm gonna add my cocoa powder. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So this is the base for our chocolate French toast. I'm gonna go ahead and just add it. There we go. And then I'm gonna put my strawberries in here as well. I already have my butter in my pan. So I'm gonna turn on my stove top to allow it to melt. And when I make my French toast, I don't like to see egg mixture. Um, sometimes I feel when you cook it on the stove top the whole time, it could be a little undercooked. So usually I will turn it, I will start with it on the stove top, allow it to get some color, and then I put it in the oven for like five minutes, just so that egg moisture can totally fully cook up. And it also allows it to remain nice and warm. Right, and now I'm going to put the strawberries in there. Then I just kind of cut up. Hold on. 
this to move our butter. All right, so now it's time for some dipping. So I am gonna take, look how beautifully thick this croissant bread is and it looks just like a croissant. You see all the layers, you know? Look at that. All the layers of butter and making a croissant. And it's so awesome that they made it into sliced bread. Okay, so I am actually gonna cut them in halves. So it could be nicer when we decorate them. Okay. And I am using a serrated knife, which is, or we call it a bread knife. The best knife to use when you're cutting bread so that way it doesn't tear your bread. Or if you're cutting cake, you know, you should use a serrated knife because it doesn't do damage to um, your delicate items such as bread or cake. I have two tablespoons of butter in there. So now it's time for dipping. And you wanna just shake off the excess. I gently press it so then I can get the strawberries and the chocolate. And make sure it's fully incorporated. And just wanna gently shake it so the excess comes off. Look here that sear. Try to do these two at the same time. And so we're gonna just allow this to get a little bit of color on both sides. And then we put it on the tray and on 350 for about five minutes, just so it soaks in all the moisture. And then we will, you know, make our chocolate French toast look fabulous. I'm just gonna wait for putting these four pieces in here. Here. So here's our chocolate strawberry French toast with little strawberry pieces inside the French toast. So it looks dark because we had a chocolate egg mixture batter. Not batter, but egg mixture to dip in the croissant bread. So I just have my keto friendly sugar free um, strawberry syrup that I mixed in with the strawberries. So I am now going to make this here, put some more strawberries here for us. And then we have strawberries as well that's in the bread. We are going to do this up this way. It's all about the chocolate and the strawberries, so we want to make sure we emphasize that. Strawberry has that nice vitamin C for you, and it's good for you. Now we're gonna put our thick chocolate syrup. This is also keto friendly, um, sugar free as well. So we have true decadence of our experience here just to kind of like drizzle it up it's kind of thick then we will put our dark chocolate pieces so you can enjoy this Without the or this, without all the guilty pleasures here, because you are having something that is sugar-free, keto-friendly. And then, last but not least, we have our chocolate nibs here. It always makes everything better.
fat and bacon. In true decadence. And then we'll come back and taste it. Croissant bread has vitamins A and B5, butter, A, B12, D, E, and K2, milk, B2, B12, D, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium, heavy cream, A, D, and calcium, evaporated milk, A, D, calcium, eggs, A, B2, B5, B6, B12, E, D, K, and iron, cane sugar, A, B1, B2, B6, C, niacin, pentothenic acid, cocoa powder, iron, magnesium, selenium, and zinc, strawberry, C, K, magnesium, powdered sugar, A, C, D, calcium, iron, and potassium, chocolate, copper, iron, magnesium, and zinc, chocolate syrup, copper, iron, magnesium, and zinc. Real facts. Pregnant women who are food insecure are more likely to have birth complications. In fact, their children will most likely be born underweight. You can learn more by visiting us at jdhcdc.org. Obviously, this is not all for me. Um, I'm just going to take a piece and let my crew have it. But um, this is, I'm excited to try this. Got the chocolate, we got the strawberry here. Let's see. Get the chocolate nib. Mmm. Oh wow. Okay. You taste that buttery flaky croissant. Even though it's made it in sliced bread form. It is so decadent. Mm. Despite everything, believe it or not, because the syrups are sugar-free, this is not overly sweet like you might think at all. It just has the right balance of sweetness. And of course, you have the dark chocolate nibs that are not really sweet either. Mm. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Wow. Again, this is not overly sweet at all. It's a great balance. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Listen, if you're looking for a late night, cheat night snack, you have it here. If you're looking for some French toast, even for the morning, you have it here. If you're looking for just that all, you know, decadent food that you can hang out with your girls, you have it here. Or you can even make it for your puppy or boyfriend, whichever. Absolutely delicious. You have the little crispiness of the croissant. Just want to have it on the stove top to the oven. This truly is not as sweet as you may, as you may think. It is truly delicious. It's just the right amount of sweetness. Wow. That croissant bread is everything. It's by La Boulangerie, which means the bakery in French. It's a treat, obviously. It's probably not your everyday thing. But if you can get your hand on it, everything. But if not, Wonder Bread will do. Holla Bread will do. Whichever bread you want to use. Mm. You won't regret it. Wow, that nice little crunch from the crust of the croissant. Really good. Here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. When you do that, that lets myself and my crew know that you're enjoying the content we're putting out for you. It encourages me to go back to the thinking lab to see what else I can come up with. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. 
We welcome you here with open arms and great big hugs. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Subscribe. You won't regret it. And share this channel with your family and friends and they'll thank you. And also, thank you for eating with me virtually today. Because next time you can eat this physically, the way I did, make a comment below. Let me know how things turned out for you because we do answer our comments. And then also, let me say this. You know, this is also beautiful and festive. This could be brunch for the holiday, Christmas, as we just passed Thanksgiving. There's a lot of families right now, as you know, with all this high inflation going through real difficult times. I'm asking if it's possible for you. Don't want to put anyone out, but if you could sacrifice your cup of Starbucks coffee, your Dunkin' Dunn's coffee, or maybe even more if you can, and donate to our charity, Joseph Greenhouse. We have our donate button on, on right here on the YouTube to families suffering from food insecurity. Um, again, like I said, you know it, I know it. We both go to the store. We see how the cost of everything has risen, and it has forced a lot of families. Those, we're not talking about homeless families. Um, the families I feed, they're not homeless, and there's nothing wrong with people who are homeless. It's just that the families that I provide for, they're families who are working class people, literally living from paycheck to paycheck, sometimes two paychecks, three sometimes, to try to make ends meet, and it's just not working, and it's just not cutting it. And they're sacrificing, giving their children food, giving themselves food to be able to pay the light bill, pay the rent, you know, whatever utilities are. So I'm asking if it's possible for you to do so, Please, it's safe on the YouTube to click our donate button to donate. I thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate your time. And I hope you'll come back and hang out with me again. Hit that bell notification so you can know next time I upload a new video. Thank you again. Love you guys. Bye.